What is up, Job Squad? I hope that wasn't too loud. I kind of was messing with the settings the other day because we had to record uh, an episode of something. I don't know if it went up or not, so I don't want to say what it was. It's kind of a, kind of a secret deal until you guys see it. But uh, all right, we are back. Universe Mode, episode 63. Do you know what time it is? It is the biggest event of the summer. The ultimate summer thrill ride, if you will. WrestleMania just happened, right? Um... John Cena taking on Seth Rollins in the main event in a, uh, I believe it's, I, be, I believe I made it an Extreme Rules match. We'll go here. All right. We got Goldberg versus Roman Reigns. That match is happening tonight. We will simulate through Kalisto and Hideo Itami. I don't know why this match happened. I don't even, I don't remember. I, I could have sworn, whatever. It, it's whatever. I, I took a break in between uh, the Austin Aries thing, and I don't remember what I said was going to happen. So we're just going to simulate through it just to get through it. Um... Falls count anywhere. That is Cesaro's specialty match. He will defend his uh, Universal or his WWE Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura. That will also be in this episode. Next episode, Rusev taking on Baron Corbin to regain his United States Championship. Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt in a tables match. That will decide the number one contender for the WWE Championship on SmackDown. Uh, and then the following episode... Part three, I believe this is, or part, yeah, okay, we'll do uh, this elimination tag match between Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, Brock Lesnar, and Samoa Joe for the tag team championships. If that one runs a while, or if any of these really run a while, then we will do a fourth part, an Extreme Rules match between John Cena and Seth Rollins, but my plan is to do this in three parts, um... And I'm hoping that it works out that way. But if one match, one match might go too long. Like, uh, like I'm expecting this one possibly to go too long. But if it doesn't, then it'll work out just fine. All right. So that's the matches for today. Let's get into Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I total, I swear to God, I just totally forgot I was even recording. I was just like sitting here watching the fucking the screen. Here comes. Goldberg, I wonder if he beat his head on the door on the way out, but it doesn't look like it. Here he comes, though. Goldberg, can he beat Roman Reigns? This is a battle of the spears, guys. We've seen it once before, right? We saw it on main event a couple weeks ago. Goldberg versus Roman Reigns. The winner becomes the number one contender. The loser, pack your bags, send them home, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Goldberg gonna look to take on either John Cena or uh, Seth Rollins, whoever comes out of the main event as the Universal Champion. Number one contendership. That's what this match is for. Basic rules. Basic rules of this match. Can Goldberg last long enough to take out Roman Reigns? I'll tell you right now. If this match was extreme rules, if this match was... Uh, you know, some sort of stipulation, some sort, some sort of gimmick match. I think it would, uh, I think it would help out Goldberg, right? Because he's he's not as conditioned as Roman Reigns is. Roman Reigns, he's been in the ring before. Goldberg has not been in the ring for a while. He's he's known as not being able to wet last last a long time in matches. Roman Reigns, however, how many matches have you seen with Roman Reigns that he's been in there for 15, 20 minutes? Quite a few. Quite a few. Roman's a good worker. I'll put. I'll give you that, man. I don't. I'm not a fan of Roman Reigns, right? I don't like him that much. I think. I think he overcomes too much. Okay. My perfect example is when he faced Rusev inside the Hell in the Cell, and Rusev had the accolade locked in with the chain in Roman Reigns' mouth, and Roman Reigns just kind of like got up and and put him down, and like it was nothing. But yeah, no, it's that. It shit happens all the time. I don't like that. I can't stand that. Roman Reigns inside the ring. He's a good worker, though. He puts on good matches. Whether you like him or you don't, you got to give him credit for that. He puts on good matches, and that's the man right there. He's going to look to reclaim that Roman Empire. He's going to have to go through Goldberg first, and that's I mean, that's a daunting task. I mean, you're going to go through Goldberg? You say it like that, you're going to go through Goldberg, but it's not going to be just a, a going through Goldberg type of thing. I mean, you got to beat Goldberg down, man. You got you to gotta go through Goldberg. Goldberg's a big wall, okay? Thick, a thick wall. I get, you know, I guess if if, it, if a wall was tall, you just kind of got to make a hole big enough for you to fit through, and you're good. But a thick wall, shit, you gotta beat that wall to death before you're gonna get through it. I'm talking about wall logic here. 
Roman Reigns. I should have edited his attire for tonight. Oh, well, whatever. Roman Reigns, first match of the night. He doesn't seem too happy about it, right? He, can, he probably wants to be in the main event. This man, I said it a couple weeks ago. He thinks he is the main event. He thinks he's the main event, maybe. He should be in the main event facing Seth Rollins. But, hey, tough titty, man. You had your chance. You had your chance to be there. Now you get another chance. First uh, first contender, that's what I was going to say. Number one contendership match. How many more times am I going to have to say it? I swear. It's hard to talk through entrances. What am I going to talk about? We're talking about walls. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Roman Reigns takes out the referee. Oh, I'm not playing. I'm not playing as anybody. I grabbed the, the controller like I was about to play. Goldberg immediately suplex. German suplex. He must have learned that one from Brock last night at WrestleMania. I'm recording this uh, like the Thursday before WrestleMania, so I have no clue what happened last night. I hope it was crazy. Like, I'm going to talk about it. I hope WrestleMania was crazy last night. I'm sure I enjoyed it. Uh, I'll tell you right now, it's Thursday, and I'm like, I've been hyped for a week. Like, I am so pumped about, about WrestleMania. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I would say I'm excited about Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. I talked about it uh, in the arena build. I'm excited about Brock Lesnar Goldberg. I just want to see what happens. Obviously, you guys have probably already seen what happens. Um, but, uh, you know, don't don't spoil it. Because I've also actually seen it. Put it in the comment section what you guys thought of WrestleMania. I'm curious what you guys thought. All right, let's get into the match. Goldberg taking down Roman Reigns with a nice little shoulder there. I'm not really sure who's had control of this match. I was, like, staring at my computer. I was watching my audio to see how loud I could be. Not that loud. I, I turned my gain up on my microphone, so that way uh, when I shot this show, I could actually get all the audio, and it worked, but I forgot to turn it back down, so now it's, uh, I believe the beginning's kind of loud, but hey, you know, the shit happens. Goldberg, though, in full control against Roman Reigns here. Roman Reigns getting out of it, though. Big knee to the, to the neck, maybe the chest area. Taking down Roman. Back body drop down goes Roman. He's got that Kevlar, though, on. He's got that Kevlar on, though. I said, though on. An idiot. Takes him down. I don't know what that move is called, but it's kind of like, uh, it's like a pump handle something, right? Pump handle, pump handle, no, it's not a pump handle slam. Whatever, it's a pump handle something. Ooh, a kick to the back. Man, can we get that vest off of Roman, or can we just put a t-shirt on him or something? I don't know what to do about it. I just, it's just an unfair advantage. Can we agree that it's an unfair advantage when you're wearing a bulletproof vest to the ring? Like if I were somebody, I would just wear like, like you know what the you know what the uh, the guys in like the military wear when they're like defusing a bomb. I would just that would be my ring attire at this point, right? You know what I'm saying? I would just wear like uh like a knight's like knight's armor, just metal. Go into the go to the ring in full metal. Just be like, yeah, whatever. Take me down. What are you gonna you gonna German suplex me, block rock? Shit. I'm a 200. Oh my God, Goldberg's already going for a spear here. This could be over. Hits the spear. Goldberg, known for quick matches. I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm not surprised by this one bit. Goldberg, though, not be, not able to capitalize, not able to win, not able to take the victory there. Use the hashtag SummerSlam, guys, to talk about this match. I don't know why they put that in there, but oh, he's setting up for it. The Jackhammer. He's got him set. He's got him set. Picks him up. Drills him down. Drills him down, baby. Gets him. Goldberg. One, two, and we've got a number one can. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real here. The the hand was on the mat. The referee's hand hit that mat. Let's not let's not sugarcoat it. Goldberg just won that shit, but the game hates logic. It hates logic. Nice shoulder to shoulder takedown by Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Right there. The big dog. This is his yard. Did, did Roman Reigns beat the Undertaker? Like, whose yard is it? Is it Roman Reigns' yard? I could be. I could be spitting facts and not even, not even know it. I could be wrong too. I could be saying this is Roman's yard, and it's not his yard. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you think Roman Reigns started calling himself the big dog? Uh, so that way, somewhere down the line, like they, like they knew it. When Roman Reigns started calling himself the big dog, do you think they knew at that point, hey, this is going to build to a feud with The Undertaker, right? Undertaker's going to be pissed off that, that he's calling himself the big dog and that it's his yard. And then Undertaker's going to fight him for the yard. Whose yard is it? 
Whose yard is it? You know, you know, it's it's understandable for the Undertaker to be pissed off about somebody else in his yard, right? Because that's an old guy type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the old guy down the street, man, he doesn't want you in his yard. You know, he gets pissed off when you're in his yard. Roman Reigns, though, he's a young kid. He's already that miserable with his life that he's he's pissed off that that it's his yard and Undertaker's in it. What is what's the deal? I don't get it. That's usually an old guy thing. They're they're like obsessed with their yards. I don't get, I don't mean I don't know. I mean I I was taught in school in like psychology class. What the hell? Roman Reigns just get counted out? Roman Reigns just got counted out. He have enough? What just happened? That's not like Roman Reigns. What just happened there? Roman Re he's just leaving? Why did he... Goldberg's your... Goldberg's your new number one contender. That's crazy. What the hell just happened there? Goldberg, though, victorious here tonight. Roman Reigns on the outside. Is he winded? He looks winded, but I don't think that's... I don't think that's why. I just think he... I, I don't... Did he not care? I don't get it, man. That's crazy. He just didn't want to fight Goldberg anymore, I guess. Goldberg, your new number one contender. The WWE Championship match is up next, guys. Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of this episode. Here he comes, man. Oh, my God. You gotta love Shinsuke Nakamura, man. I just, I love this theme song. I love his theme song. He's perfect, man. I, I hope he wins tonight. I hope he wins tonight. Did he win at TakeOver? Did he beat Bobby Roode for the NXT Champion? I don't know. I don't, I've been saying it all episode long. I don't know what happened this past weekend. Was it crazy? I'm recording this on Thursday. I'm recording so much shit like today and tomorrow. So that way I can have all my stuff ready for next week. So that way I don't I, I don't got to do anything on Saturday or Sunday. Usually I'll record like all week and then I'll edit Saturday and Sunday. I'm getting it all done, all out of the way. All done, all out of the way. Shinsuke Nakamura is going to look to take down Cesaro in his specialty match. The Falls Count Anywhere match. If there's one man that can do it, it's Shinsuke. Right? I mean, if there's one guy, this guy. It's gotta be Shinsuke. This dude's the king of the strong style. I know it's not the king of the strong style. It's king of strong style. But he's king of strong style, man. Like, he's gonna knock Cesaro out. But Cesaro's no joke. Pound for pound, he's the strongest man in the WWE. Dude's insanely strengthy. That doesn't make much sense, but Shinsuke Nakamura, ready for Cesaro. The Swiss Superman. Mr. Goldeneye himself. I meant to I meant to edit people's attires for this show and I completely forgot. To be I just to be honest with you. Just to be honest with you. I just I forgot. There he is. Cesaro. He's been dominating SmackDown. I mean him and Daniel Bryan had a little bit of an exchange, but I mean let's be real. You know, like Cesaro's dominant. Okay? Who would have thought when we started universe mode that Cesaro would be your champion? For this long. Right? You would have thought Daniel Bryan would have beat him once, beat him in the rematch, and shoo shoo. Go go play around in the in the tag division. You know, maybe lose a few pounds. Go play around with the cruiserweight Cesaro. We don't want you over here. I'm kidding. I love Cesaro. I think it's great that he's the WWE champion right now. These two guys are about to put on an absolute classic. Here we go. WWE Championship on the line. Falls count anywhere. No disqualifications. Yeah, 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 Lillian. Announce the guys. Here we go. Ring the bell, ref. Ring the bell. And we're underway. Cesaro gets into the action immediately. German suplex. Learned it from Brock. Man, these guys are learning moves from Brock. Left and right. Left and right. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at WrestleMania 33 t-shirts that are going to be on sale. And there's one that says Wrestle Freakin' Mania, which is a joke because I, I make flyers, right? Okay, so I invite my friends over to watch pay-per-views, and I make flyers that I send them. And one of the flyers that I made was a 
it was you know a picture of like Seth Rollins and it said Wrestle Freakin' Mania. So they totally copied me. Like WWE totally copied me. Assholes. Right? They go to the outside. These guys just went to the outside immediately, dude. Cesaro loves it out, out outside the ring. Outside the ring is where Cesaro's best. He's won the championship there before. I believe, right? Or was that Daniel? I know one of them. One of them pinned somebody right here. I don't remember if it was Daniel Bryan that pinned Cesaro or if it was Cesaro that pinned Daniel Bryan. But it was one way or the other. Shinsuke drops him across the knee. That's going to hurt the neck. That's going to hurt the neck. That's not good. Cesaro does have shoulder problems, which, you know, it's up there. Okay, maybe he hit the shoulder. Maybe he dropped him on his shoulder. Maybe that was the plan. Cesaro does have shoulder problems. He was out for a while, right? He, like, he hurt his shoulder. That's why he usually wears the tape, which is weird that they don't have him wearing tape in this game because I swear to God, he's been wearing tape forever. Like that, uh, what's it called? I forget what it's called, but it's like, it's supposed to like, whatever. It's whatever. It's supposed to like loosen up your muscles or something. I don't know what it does. It does something though. Shinsuke throwing Cesaro back over the barricade. He's going to wait for him. And now he's going to walk away. No, and they're fighting in the crowd. Over goes Cesaro again. Nakamura, he's going to wait for him. One more time. Now he's going to walk away again. Come right back. Here we go. Cesaro. Okay. Cesaro back over the barricade. Nakamura waiting for him again. Are we going to get into a loop? There we go. Cesaro with a big uppercut there. We're finally far enough away from the barricade that Cesaro's not going to flip over it again. Headbutt. Cesaro over the barricade. Wait, no. He didn't go over. Oh, he's going to go over now. Watch. I promise you. Told you. Oh, my God. Please, Nakamura, go over the barricade. Just hop over. Oh, my God. Somebody's got to do something about this, right? There you go, uppercut. Hit him with another one. Hit him with another one. God dang it. Thank you. Thank you. Nakamura. Take him up the stairs. Take him up the steps. Knock. Big left hand there by Cesaro. You got to love when they fight out, out in the crowd. Why doesn't the referee follow them in this game? That would make sense, right? Big right hand. Let's get another one. Big right hand. Cesaro can't get anything going. I, I take that back immediately. Halfway through that sentence, I took it back. Big uppercut there. Nope, Cesaro now. Go big uppercut. Nah, kick to the midsection. Show him what the uppercut looks like, Cesaro. Big right hand by Knock. Big right hand. Big right. Big right hand by Nakamura. Big left hand. Nope, big left hand by Cesaro. Right overhand. All right, guys, we get it. You guys love to just get into a big old fist fight. I mean, I wouldn't get into a fist fight with Nakamura. Let's be, he's the king of strong style, for crying out loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cesaro needs to get technical. But he's, I mean, he's showing he can brawl. He's saying, he's showing. I'm, I'm pretty strong style too, bitch. Right? Is that what he's saying? Oh, you know what? I just realized. <laughs> I just realized we're not playing in the right arena. I made the arena where this is supposed to be outdoors. This is supposed to be outdoor. Whatever. I guess it's a two-night affair. Oh, there's the referee. Is he going to... You got to be kidding me. Tell me this is a joke, man. That's a joke, right? If the referee does not count the pinfall, I swear to God, I'm going to count the pinfall instead. He better count the next pinfall. I'm going to be incredibly pissed off if he doesn't count the pinfall. <laughs> I'm going to be really pissed off. I don't think... Can you do falls... Uh, you can't do falls count anywhere in outdoor arenas, can you? I don't know. I mean, it would make sense. It's the biggest fucking arena. Oh, well. I forgot to change it. It'll be... Oh, I can't change it at all now. I've already started the show. I can't edit the show now. I guess this is where we're... I guess we're playing at, the, at this arena. I apologize for that one. Here we go. Pinfall. Get down there, ref. Oh, okay. Good. He's counting. One... Two and three, just, just like that. Nakamura, Nakamura. You know what? Right here, I, I mean, I feel like Cesaro probably should have won it, but the referee wouldn't count it. I mean, this definitely calls. I mean, I mean, I understand Cesaro gets his rematch regardless, but right there, I, Nakamura though he hits Kinshasa one time, man, and it's over. Just like that, referee comes running in from fucking who knows where. One, two, and three. Just like that, we have a new WWE Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. How about it? Wow. 
I really didn't. Ex I didn't think he was gonna win. I thought he, I thought Cesaro was gonna run right through Shinsuke. But there you have it. You're new. What is this? This game is broken to all hell. Why is it showing me Goldberg Roman Reigns? That one's over. That one's that match is done. Oh well, Shinsuke Nakamura, guys, your new WWE champion. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to follow me on Twitter at JobberNation. This has been your boy Tell. Bye!